PPP loans what did your employer buy with their forgiven loans? In honor of the Supreme Court announcing their decision on student loan forgiveness, tell us, what did your employer buy with their forgiven loans? Edit OK Let me be more precise due to those of you commenting about it What did your employer buy with the money they saved by using PPP loans for their businesses, and using their usual working capital or even record profits to spend as they wish? My work in Hawaii let me off my bar job and literally bought a nightclub and started remodeling it with all brand new equipment. While the pandemic was still active. Now they own two bars. I'll start. The nightclub I worked at had itself declared an essential business and reopened after two months. They had 250k forgiven that they used to remodel the club and buy the higher ups brand new cars. I know I never received a paycheck during the shutdown, and I'm sure the other staff didn't either. You already know the opinions on student loan forgiveness. I worked for one of the largest, global real estate companies in the world. They were approved for PPP loans not sure how much but it had to have been a lot meanwhile, they discontinued our bonuses because unprecedented times. I made all my money on bonuses, based on my contract. I had to quit because I literally couldn't afford to work there. My company I worked in at the time was a manufacturer. They took out a PPP loan at 5k an employee and used it to pay salaries for three months. They also used the money to cater food for the employees who were in the office every day and got hotel rooms for them for six months. One of the few companies I believe deserved to have them forgiven. Several trips to Europe with her family a brand new BMW. My former employer bought some kind of big boat. They claimed the PPP on every payroll company, we were busier than we've ever been at that time, couldn't keep producing the building it was moving so fast. Never laid anyone off, actually hired anyone that walked in the door. Think we got a measly 100 bonus, they received millions in PPP. I worked in their finance department. New boat and new vacation house in Florida for the bosses. Hopefully there are some good investigative journalists out there that can cause enough fuss to as they like to say claw that money back. My manager used it to put a down payment on a used Lexus for way too much and still had to take out a loan for it at 16 interest. A house to rent out by room. He also added basement rooms to shove more people in. I estimate there's 15 people in there. The single rooms are 950 a month and the shared are 1k split between the occupants. My old employer got $467,000 and took a few months off to travel, then renovated his house and spent some time fixing his antique cars in his garage. He still denied receiving the loan, even though we showed him the PPP web page with his business and how much he received. With all of that money he got, three four of our workforce were still laid off for the year. The owner of my then employer secretly moved into a multi-million estate away and ran the company from there. When I asked for health insurance, it wasn't in the budget. The company was approved for $98,000 none of that went back into the company. Well mine all of a sudden had money to buy a 2.1 million house in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire and the my boss brother got a brand new Ferrari. But hey let's make students pay the scam education became so the rich can get richer right. This system is fucked up we need to start doing what France is doing fuck it. If not in a couple years it's just gonna be the rich while we go home let's look at the corporations who bought all the real estate in Boston and jacked up the rent. O and BTW they pay the line employees minimum wage and treat them like no sympathy from me if then go to jail. Supreme Court Justices Apparently A $90,000 truck a $80,000 truck and a cabin in Colorado Mountains My boss got a PPP loan and the day it hit the bank is the day he sold the company and got rid of staff as the new company saw them as too old, I mean redundant. He purchased a penthouse apartment in a brand new building downtown. A badass RV and a new room on their house. I work in Navy and my company bought thousands of dollars worth of conferencing equipment with PPP loans. A lot of it just sits on our shelves uninstalled. 
took them and laid off 60 of the company the next week anyway. I used the PPP loan my company got to pay everyone so I didn't have to lay anyone off. Was super helpful and helped me sleep at night. Without it I would have had to let go at least 2-3 people whom I adore. Would have broken my heart. Now ask about the ERC silliness. Every time some rich fuck uses the argument it's a not fire I par id my s2 duenti loan I ask what they or their friends did with their PPP loans. Shuts a lot of them up right there. My wife's boss bought a boat. And a trip to France. My funniest thing is that she is already married to a dude worth millions. Not my employer but my ex-best friend's fiancé at the time owned restaurants he had close to 3 million forgiven in PPP loans but still ran a GoFundM to take care of his staff spoiled alert didn't happen, he paid my ex-friend who is now his wife and his adult daughter large salaries to keep the money in the family. Plumber here, our boss used the money to pay all of us that got sick to stay at home until we were testing clear. This is probably a huge outlier but my boss isn't a dick. He is hoping someone starts running ads about who in Congress voted no on student debt relief and got a PPP loan forgiven. I'm thinking 15 seconds ads run at odd times since they might be cheaper. Also, who is voting against tax breaks for the middle class that are expiring while the rich and corp get to keep theirs. The whole top floor went out for steak dinners and golf and left the rest of the building behind. They've since fired the front desk receptionist to save money. The company I was working for didn't buy anything. All of upper management lined their pockets. An untested product line from a company working in a basement despite objections from all engineering staff, now constantly failing and requires complete redesign. Purchase was about one-sixth the company's yearly revenue. Huge bonuses to the CEO's family. While concurrently cutting hours and pay for support workers like nurses. My employer at the time kept the business open so that we'd get paid. I know it's not always typical, but the leadership of the company was really transparent and thoughtful about how they used what they got. It was probably the healthiest workplace I've ever worked at. A new fucking car. The CEO got rid of his six-year-old Camry for a Porsche Macan. Also, he put in a swimming pool with pool house and shower for washing off the chlorine after swimming. Very proud showing off the pictures. A building that was remodeled to be our office, when we were clearly not essential workers and could have worked from home. The irony. Threads like this make me wonder why there aren't more crimes committed. Rules for thee and none for me. People who hate socialism of any kind only seem to hate it when others benefit. They seem might quiet when they are the benefactors. Sigh. I was let go due to the economy while the owners got a new G-Wagon. Made sure everyone still had 40 hours a week and still paid 60 of insurance, both health and dental. My aunt's employer a dentist used his PPP loan to expand his already palatial mansion in the Berkshires and she had to take retirement early. I work for a company that provides in-home care for disabled adults. During the day they go to a center where they can socialize and do piece work to try to earn more money than what social security allots to them. My employer used the money to make sure that all the people who work at the center that couldn't work would continue to be paid. No one was laid off or fired. So they actually used it the way it was supposed to be used. LOL, heard one guy paid for his destination wedding, paid for guests hotel and flights. A real baller. I worked for a used car lot. My boss laid me off for 8 weeks, when I came back her and her husband both had bought new 2 year old trucks at the auction, and I got unemployment. My company actually used that money to pay for 50 of staff's wages. Which is nice and all. But now not only were we now living on 50 income. Which already wasn't high but also meant we weren't eligible for unemployment which paid more per week than one two week paycheck. Sad days those were. TLDR great attempt, terrible execution. I work in the North Dakota oil field and couldn't believe the small businesses getting these at the time.